Astronomers discovered two strange objects in the universe that seemed at first to be ordinary neutron stars. The two objects appeared to be composed of a dense soup of subatomic particles known as quarks. A quark is a type of elementary particle and a fundamental constituent of matter. However, on a closer look, the two objects appear to be even smaller and denser than neutron stars, and they are what we refer to as quark stars or strange stars. So, a quark star is an intermediate stage between a neutron star and the black hole. Quark stars have too much mass at their core for the neutrons to hold the atom, but not enough to fully collapse into black holes. A neutron star, bizarre and extreme as it is, mostly comprises a sea of neutrons. The neutrons are remains from crushed atomic nuclei and are densely packed in the neutron stars. If you were to weigh a teaspoonful of neutron star matter, it would weigh around a billion tons. That shows you how massive the neutron star is. Since the 1980s, scientists have speculated that if a neutron star gains enough mass, the pressure at its core may be great enough to even crush the neutrons themselves into their component particles called quarks. The matter in quark stars might have truly abnormal properties. Unlike the neutron star matter, once it forms, it might hold together in its superdense state without the help of gravity. However, if disrupted, a quark star could litter space with tiny but massive shards called quark nuggets, or strangelets. These shards would have a disturbing property, that is, anything they touch might be converted into strange matter too, including any planet or star they fall into. Scientists have observed two candidate stars for quark stars. The first star is a neutron star called RX J1856.5-3754 that is about 400 light years away in the constellation Corona Australis. Jeremy Drake of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and colleagues analyzed the light coming from the star, which helped them determine its temperature. They found that it radiates like a body with a temperature of 700,000 degrees Celsius and a diameter of only 11 kilometers. This is too small to fit the model of a neutron star, which should be not less than 20 kilometers in diameter. However, the size of the star is within the theoretical size range of quark stars. Theorists believe that this star exists within a quark star and no other place that they can easily imagine. The second star is the supposed neutron star 3C58, about 10,000 light years away in the constellation Cassiopeia. David Helfand, an astronomer from Columbia University, and his colleagues found out about 3C58. Born in a supernova explosion that Chinese and Japanese astronomers observed in August 1181, the star was awkwardly cool, and it had cooled down faster than a neutron star is expected to. This was a huge surprise to astrophysicists. The star's temperature is expected to be about 1.5 million degrees Celsius, but puzzled scientists have found the temperature to be far below that almost half the temperature of a neutron star. David Helfand and his colleagues said that only a quark star could cool quickly enough in its early life, suggesting that this could be a quark star. Also, quark stars cool faster than neutron stars. If these two stars are quark stars, then they should help astronomers understand their nature. We noted at the beginning that quark stars are also known as strange stars. Not because they are weird, although they are, but because the pressure within them turns some of their constituent quarks into a heavy type of quark called strange. The protons and neutrons are composed of two kinds of quarks called up and down quarks. Michael Turner, a cosmologist at the University of Chicago, said that it is possible that most of the stars we have been calling neutron stars are, in fact, quark stars, or a hybrid of the two. If quark matter does convert everything it touches into more quark matter, then these stars would fully consist of quark matter right up to their hard surfaces. But if it doesn't, 
then the stars could be hybrids with quark matter cores and neutron star outer surfaces. Astronomers are still conducting more research to get more information on quark stars and their nature. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.